Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Right now, the state says 107 children are currently hospitalized with COVID-19, with 22 new admissions each day. Dr. Natasha Bagdasarian, chief medical executive for the state of Michigan, says this rate is 66% higher than what we were seeing during the week of December 20th. Cases are also on the rise for people in their 20s and 30s. Starting this week, Michigan will expand testing resources, sending tests to public libraries across the state, including right here in Detroit. The state is also encouraging school districts to maintain mask mandates, in addition to encouraging everyone to wear a mask and get vaccinated. The Greektown Casino is back open for business after a power outage. Happened around 930 this morning. The casino was evacuated It reopened just before noon. The fire department tells us the outage started from a portable generator parked in the street. Nobody was hurt. The auto industry is celebrating the North American car, truck and sports utility vehicle of the year. And it is good news for Ford. Two out of the three categories is what they're going home with. The ceremony happening today at Huntington Place in downtown Detroit. The Honda Civic winning the award for car of the year. The Ford Maverick taking home the prize for truck of the year. It's a hybrid pickup truck proving to be very popular for the company. The new Ford Bronco also won for utility vehicle of the year. And our forecast for the rest of today, 24 degrees to be the high temp, so bright, chilly, and still breezy. So it's going to feel just a touch colder than this thanks to those winds from the southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We will continue to warm up though, even after sunset. We're going with highs climbing up to eventually 27 by 10 p.m.